I'm Flight Lieutenant Clark uh, from Wollongong, Australia, uh, and I fly the F-35. G'day, I'm Flight Lieutenant Bowman. Uh, I grew up on a farm at Dunny Doo and currently a F-35 pilot here at Phoenix. Today we're going to answer some questions to try and give a bit of an insight on how we got to where we are now and what we're doing now. So, have you always wanted to be a fighter pilot? Uh, for me, yeah. Uh, I always knew I wanted to fly aeroplanes. Um, but yeah, when I saw that F-18 flyover uh, at my hometown in Wollongong at the air show, um, yeah, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. Uh, for myself, uh, the, the Hornets flying over the farm, I really wanted to, to be in the cockpit. I'm pretty glad I chose that one. So what is pilot's course like? Uh, so pilot's course, uh, ultimately it's a lot of fun. Um, so I reckon it's probably the best time uh, of my career uh, was being on pilot's course. Um, but at the same time, it's a lot of uh, hard work. So a lot of hours spent uh, after work, uh, sitting in your room, studying, uh, preparing for each flight, uh, trying to visualize what you're gonna do in your next flight. Um, so yeah, a lot of hard work, but ultimately I reckon it's probably the best fun that I've had in my career so far. Have you ever gone to war? Six months after I graduated Hornets course, I was uh, lucky enough to actually deploy. We went to the Middle East. The first tour was about four months and then uh, a bit over a year later I actually got to go back again for another five months tour. I think it's probably the most rewarding thing I've done in my career to actually put all the tools and skills that we get taught to being a fighter pilot and actually put it to use and try and make the world a better place. Yeah, so like uh, Ross, I went to uh, Iraq about one year after finishing my F-18 course. Um, we spent about four months uh, in the Middle East uh, flying missions there. Um, Probably one of the most rewarding uh, parts of my career was actually getting to, uh, like Ross said, uh, put all those skills uh, into use um, and actually do the job that we joined up uh, or that we signed up for. What is it like to pull G? Feels pretty heavy, uh, so you feel like you're getting sucked into the seat, uh, your body feels really heavy, your head feels really heavy, so you know if I'm pulling 9G, which the F-35 can pull, uh, my head will weigh you know, nine times as heavy as it normally does. So it wants to pull your head down uh, if you're looking down. Uh, by the time you finish pulling G, it kind of feels like you've um, played a game of rugby, you feel pretty tired, your body's swaying. Uh, it's just like playing any kind of sport. What is it like flying the world's most advanced fighter jet? Uh, so I reckon it actually feels like you're flying a spaceship. So you're sitting back, uh, you've got a side stick, which is a bit different to flying the Hornet. Quite easy to fly. Um, Pretty cool having a helmet where you can look out and see all your symbology. Uh, nice big flat screen in front of you. Um, so I reckon it's pretty cool. What is it like being part of the team bringing the F-35 back to Australia? Uh, so I think it's pretty cool um, being one of the first uh, or in the first lot of people to actually get to fly this aeroplane. Yeah, I guess it's uh, a huge honour, um, but at the same time, a big responsibility to be able to bring this jet back to Australia. Thanks everyone uh, and we'll see you later. Hopefully you see you in the skies in a couple of years.